You know, every year around this time of the year, we turn no, our attention no, to the IRS. No, no, don't read those cue cards. Oh. <laughs> they were left in here from another, some one of those sleazy public You're service holding shows. holding up cue cards from another show. I thought I would read it. It had to do with IRS tax planning, <clears throat> which is pretty darn important, Mr. Johnson. And he knows because he's going off to the hooskow for yeah. not paying his. Well, I just wish the IRS could help us all plan our taxes <laughs> a lot better, not to mention these chumps around here. Hey, guess what? Today is our our anniversary show. This is the last show we're going to do in the studio this year. Ah, yo daddy and uh, your mama too. <laughs> it's a cynical bunch guys. This is the end of our 10th year. We're the longest running cooking show on television. Unbelievable. And Doris and Harold are getting ready to celebrate 40 years of nuptial bliss. <laughs> Can you believe it? Utterly amazing. I know. I know. It really is. So we're going to have an anniversary party. All right. And Good. I, I'm going to do an anniversary chocolate pie. <laughs> And I thought for our 10th anniversary, I'd just slough off for one show and not do anything. Well, I'll go right ahead. No, Nothing, I'm going to do what cabbage, else is new? cabbage <laughs> or gratin. Oh, how marvelous. Mm. Well, Cheesy it, cabbage, in other yeah. words. Now, this chocolate pie was sent in by Elizabeth Griffith of Hopewell, Virginia, and it's, I can't wait to taste it. I didn't sample it. I made the pie in advance, but I haven't sampled it. Mm. But it, it looks awfully chocolatey. Mm -hmm. So let me get going on this thing, and then we'll turn it over to you, and you can let the good times roll. Well, Three you. eggs must be separated. The yolks go into the, to the top of a double boiler. The whites into a mixing bowl where they will be converted to meringue eventually. So let me... Uh, that's a good dance, the meringue. The meringue, yeah. It's not as good as the lambada, though. Or the meringue go. Woo! Oh, I know, it is gross. I don't know why these eggs are kind of a hard to see. Oh, Lord, this one is going to be impossible. There it goes. Come on, come on. Well, now, you know one of these guys does it like this. I have seen somebody do that. Mm-hmm. Where is the paper towel? I have my microphone, Maureen, so don't get oh, excited. Oh, right? now, don't, we can't excite Maureen <coughs> too much. I know. Much. She's... <laughs> Since Maureen is... Whatever. <laughs> we don't want to say it on TV because I don't know whether she's told Bill yet or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I just dropped the... I just dropped the white into the yolks. Oh, well. The meringue will be a little skimpy on this one. Well, what can you do? Now, we're going to beat this up. Well, pay attention for one thing. Well, I can. I'm sorry. It just it might help. So complicated. Now, all right, you beat your egg yolks up a little bit, and now we're going to start adding stuff. And we start off with a box of chocolate pudding mix, and it's the kind that uh, you have to cook. You don't want to use the instant kind. So just pull it right on out of here. We'll throw that down in here. And you know, I'm real tickled because I just found out earlier today that uh, I'm going to. In a oh no, weeks, you're not. Well, no, no. I <laughs> well, there like has I been am, some talk, but I'm not gonna. Uh, no, no. Uh, I'm going to be appearing on on one of these local PBS stations with several members of the Lawrence Welk. Ah! Orchestra. <laughs> that's true. Oh, I thought you were going to be on Rescue Road. That's another local show around here that's one. All right, three tablespoons of coca powder. Sounds like a pretty low down show to me. Well, it is. They were doing uh, pimento cheese crackers <laughs> the other day. I watched that in their cooking segment. I thought that was just real pimento clever. Pimento cheese crackers. I swear. That's all right. Two tablespoons of melted margarine. <laughs> goes in here along with the three tablespoons of coca, uh, two cups of milk, pre-measured of course. Oh yes. So does that mean how do you measure and it? Three you quarters measure it? of a cup of sugar. I just know I'm gonna leave out something. I gotta have some vanilla. And I forgot to get that. Well it's just uh, too tough to tell. All right, and there's the sug. Here's the vanilla. Oh, thanks. And we need a teaspoon of vanilla. And there it is. All right. Now, you're going to put all this 
into your double boiler and stir until it thickens up. And you'll stir from now till Sunday. So Bly, it's all yours. All right. Well, the first thing I'm doing is heating up right now a little bit of margarine on top of the stove. And we're going to get that going real good. In a couple of minutes, we're going to add some all-purpose flour and a little milk to that. And we're going to make a white sauce. While we're doing that, we need to start the chopping process, which also goes on for a great period of time. And I need just about a half of a, or a little bit more than a half of a fairly good size uh, pepper, bell pepper. And yesterday, all the peppers looked terrible. And it's real strange, I was able to find one that was on the for sale rack that had gone over that actually looked better than some of them that were on the regular sale rack. So I bought those and saved an awful lot of money. Yeah. And what I'm doing right now is chopping those out. The Ooh. produce has been so bad this morning. Well, it's, it's been a strange inclement weather that we've gone through. Now, I need to really quickly add something to this before it explodes in my eye. Oh, no. Two tablespoons of uh, all-purpose flour. You said it, Buster. There we go, a little bit of that. Whoops. I can't wait till you get into that cheese. That cheese looks so good. Oh, I know how you just love to get into it. Now, I also need to add in flour. Oh, some white pepper. Where's my white pepper? Where is it? Just a little bit. Ah! Peppy it up a little bit. I love white pepper. Don't you? Uh huh. It's Nod real, your head if you like. Real it's white real pepper. good for Thank you. Thank you. See, they nodded their heads. They're amazing. Our audience responds right quickly. And we add need to add a little milk. This calls for skim milk. Cup of skim milk. Any kind of milk will do. I don't have any skim today. I'm just going to use regular milk. Didn't go kill anybody. And add that in. Sort of a little bit on the slow side. Slow it first and real fast then, like I just did it. <laughs> yeah. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that thicken up just a little bit. So we gotta get it real hot. Is that as hot as it'll go? Yeah, I believe it is. Fiery hot. Fiery hot, fiery hot. In the meantime, I'm also gonna take, I have two tomatoes, medium-sized tomatoes. That's probably one of the reasons it wasn't hot, uh, heating and up so much. They probably cost about, what, two or three dollars a piece? About $17 worth of tomatoes here, it's incredible. And we're going to Nothing chop those up. Nothing a recipe with tomatoes in it. Now. We're going to seed them and chop them too. I imagine once we pop the seeds out of this that there won't be anything left of it anymore. Well, that one's not as bad as it could be. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm just getting seeds out because I know you don't like to eat those with your... Well, it's so bad with your diverticulitis. Diverticulitis, which we have to mention all the time. Now you'll chop those up here in a minute. Meantime, I do, I must work right along here with this white sauce. And when we get it to a, a real good point here, we're gonna add some uh, mustard powder. Oh, look, it is getting thick. It's looking pretty. A little mustard powder and cheddar cheese goes in that next. And look at it. Oh, it's pretty and thick. It really is. I would say it's, uh, where is the camera? <laughs> it's real pretty. <laughs> Well, I tell you, you know, they're just haughtier than you know what, know. Hades down here. An well, maybe next year, one mustard. day, we'll run the cameras as well as they do, and they can come and cook. <laughs> a little bit of dry mustard. Up, ah, easy now, not too much. And then a quarter of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese, all right, Johnson, I know you're dying to get into this. And this is, boy, I tell you, this is sharp. This is good. This is wonderful. It's fabulous. Wee! Mmm! Mama mia! Go ahead. Grab some. Look, that's even got rag on it. You know that's good. Little little bit will do you. What? Can you have a little piece? Just shake your head if you want a little piece. <laughs> but at least they've learned how to shake their head instead of stamping their feet like old Bobbin. All right, now we got it. <laughs> I'm sorry you started it. Uh, Johnson, you're your big mouth. How much is two plus two? All right. Now we got to work some of this cheddar cheese in here. Just a little bit. <laughs> that's far more than it called for, but that's okay. I don't care. I like it real cheesy. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Boy, that's pretty. <laughs> 
Look at it, there it is, wonderful camera shot. You'll notice that it has gone from being real white to just a real cheddar cheesy like. Now that's it, set that aside for just a little bit. That's a real pretty nice white sauce that I have made there. Now we're gonna heat up another pan back here at the back. And we're also gonna put a little margarine in that because we're gonna saute a few things like our, our uh, cabbage and all the other stuff. And here he said, would you, would you do me a favor, Johnson, and, and take these two pieces of cheese and lay them over there on the table, three pieces of cheese, and lay them over on the table because we have a whole bunch of people that are real hungry that haven't oh, eaten. No. A lot of folks from Rescue Road have come down here today. <laughs> I'm going to pass that over to him. And need something to eat real bad. Good people. Mm -hmm. Good people. I'm telling you, I'm not. Anyway, what? Doris. Doris needs a hunk of cheese. You know, we could spend the rest of the show doing this routine. Uh, Carol and Maureen need some cheese. This yeah, is Maureen's all, eating for more than one now. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is, after all, our 10th anniversary show, and so everybody has to get in on ah, an extra $15 for that girl, Union Scale. So anyway. Now I'm heating that up. Now I gotta start chopping a few things and shredding a few things, and that's all for right now, Johnson. Get it off of me. Well, I'm just over here stirring on this. You have to keep stirring this mess, oh, okay. even though it's in a double boiler. And in a minute here, I'm gonna <laughs> beat up my uh, egg whites and add four tablespoons of sugar to it. And let me tell you, we're gonna make a meringue, and you really, really have to Mix this sugar up good in your meringue, because if you don't, your meringue will weep. Weep no more, more for my me. lady. Uh, so like, huh? You're welcome. Now we're gonna take a little onion here. We're gonna chop it up, a little medium onion, chop it up. And I'm starting to put stuff on top of the stove. Ah. I said I'm starting to put the stuff on top of the stove. And that goes in there with the bell pepper. Let's just start sauteing that stuff. You remember her? She was a spy for the South. Who, bell pepper? Yeah, during the war. I'll never forget it. All right, that's the onion. And now we gotta shred up some, just a, a little bit, how much of this stuff we need to shred up? Four cups of cabbage. Boy, this is a big head of cabbage. Big head, big head. Oh. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna do right now, shred some cabbage. Now, if you want to, you can do this in several different ways. You can either be real fanciful and just kind of do it this way, real thin, real thin like that, which is a real fancified way of doing it. Or you can just take your shredder and just start shredding. And that's what I'm gonna do. That's the messiest way to do it. And if you have a food processor, that's really a fast way to do it. Every year about this time, we turn our attention to tax plan. No, they're holding up those old two You know, tax today. planning should be a year-round process, ladies and gentlemen. Each investment, expenditure, and earning can determine how much you owe or are refunded according to the Infernal Revenue Service. One of these days, we're going to get our cue cards on somebody else's show. Yeah. We don't have any, of course. There's no way you could cue card this operation. Oh, I don't know. It could be on Nova or... Uh... Well, I'm still just uh, going at it here. Now, this is about what? Cup, right? Oh, it's two cups. Is that two cups? Yeah, that's two. Good that I only have about one more of those horrible seizures to go through. I'm going to put that in there. We're going to saute all that. I wish I had something to uh, cover that with. Boy, wouldn't that be nice if I had something to cover that with? No, 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 it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. There's nothing in the cup, just leave me alone. Get a little sore throat. <clears throat> okay. A little salt goes in this at this point. And I think a little paprika, but I'm not sure about that. Where's the salt? I don't know. Where is the Do you recipe? have any salt? No, I don't have it. Oh, here's some. A little salt. <laughs> People stealing my cheese. Well, fortunately, I don't need any more. So 
we'll be okay. I'm just gonna kinda cover that so it'll saute real nicely in there. Well, it's real pretty. You could turn it the way God made it. No, no, it's okay. See, it doesn't have, oh, it does have a knob on it. Oh, are you fool? <laughs> well, no, no, I'm not a fool. Most of them down here don't have oh. anything left to them anymore. Call me a fool. I've been to this crazy place before. There's nothing down you know, here with a knob left on it, including the board in the back that they're using for this show. While you're uh, grating on that cabbage, why don't we bring the old girls in and let them talk to us? All right, that's fine. That's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, they, they're out there. They want to come back in one more time. Our original busybodies, the Cook Sisters, and they're here to give us another one of their exciting lectures. Hit it, girls. <laughs> what? What's wrong, sis? Uh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, She's on a lock. No. Where's the oh, key? No, no, no. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. It's that whale bone that's punching a oh, hole all the way my. through. Oh, to the other side. I haven't oh. seen her suffer this way since uh, summer of 42. <laughs> oh, oh, my heavens. What is it? Well, I, I think that this is the thing that you used that time you played that Amazon woman in the school play. Or a right? shield. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I think. Work my lip too, yeah. but anyway. Uh huh. You're going to get it upside the lip in a minute. <laughs> no, this is a griddle for all those of you that don't remember. You could fry a big old fish in this griddle or make two or three little pancakes. Pancakes, and then you could drain out the grease right uh -huh. out the little grease drain right, right there. Here. Mm -hmm. The old grease drain. Oh, yeah. it, and then, of course, you could use it like this for a tom tom at the Indian oh, gathering. Oh, for heaven's sake. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And we're the Cook Sisters. All right, now here's a very important part of this recipe. Spray on the Pam. <laughs> you remember her, don't uh -huh. you? She used to work here. Yep. <laughs> but didn't they all? A little bit. <laughs> There's a big club now. It's called the Club of 1000. It's uh -huh. made up of the, employee, the former employees of this station. Okay, now we got... We got our stuff in there, sauteing around. I need a, do you have a wooden spoon? It sure would be, that's all right, I'll just use this one. I got one in here. I just want to get this stuff up off the bottom. Saute that around just a little bit, a little salt and pepper in there on that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll cover it back up to make sure it gets good and done. I added the other two cups to that, all right? So you should have a total of, of uh, four cups. All right, blah, wow. Yeah. Uh, let me dump, now I'm, my chocolate uh, filling has gotten thick and I'm going to pour it in here. Now be careful, I would advise you to use a deep dish pie crust because this makes more than probably you would want to put in a regular one. So let me just, there's a lot of filling good stuff in here but we don't need it. And there's your, in a pre-baked pie crust and now I'm going to spread my Looks like you actually made that pie crust, did you? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. I have to tell you the truth. Uh huh. And I'm not too happy with this meringue. Well, what's wrong with it? Well, it's. I think I'm gonna have difficulty getting it spread here over the top of this hot chocolate mixture to, so I can get it in the ovens and well anyway you can <laughs> that ain't the way grandma used to do no. it I can tell you that right now grandma would have had a hissy if she'd seen you operating like that I got it a little too stiff and it won't spread right Oh, maybe it's going to be there. I don't know. Well, take your time. Well, I am. Being that I have to read the rest of this recipe and figure out what I've got to do with it. Oh, no, I got chocolate up in the meringue. What a mess. And red crows of paprika sprinkle over cheese mixture. Yeah. Half of cabbage. All right, now oh, I'm going to put this cherry. into the oven for just Jeez. a couple of minutes to brown up the uh, meringue on it. Oh, I didn't realize uh, <laughs> I was just having a good time. Well, this isn't quite ready yet, but it almost is. Now heat your oven up to 350 degrees. 
because you're going to have to bake all this for 25 minutes. It's news to me, but that's what you're going to have to do. Meanwhile, I'm just sauteing this away in here, and it's just about right. You only do that for about five minutes until it's nice, and look at that. Isn't that pretty? Real green. Very lovely. Is that it, Laban? Is that all you do? What? Are you well, finished? No, well, I got to watch it here so it doesn't. Oh, he's got to watch it. Oh, so it doesn't mess up me. when it, right. the meringue gets toasted. Well, let me just go ahead and finish this up there. Oh, while we'll we go got right it. ahead. All right, now, here's what you do you have your little baking dish, and you take. What? Oh, I have to add my tomatoes to it. I was wondering what she was trying to tell me. But you don't do that to the last minute, all right? You don't want to cook these. Just add it at the last minute and throw it around in there. Now that's really pretty, just like it's supposed to be. See? That's lovely. Now you take half of that and you put it in here. Thank you, Doris, for watching me. Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> I said. <laughs> Thank you for me. Anyway, take half of that and put it in there, like so. And then you take half of your cheese mix and kind of spread that in there real thin. Don't use it all up now. Don't get nervous. Don't overdo it. Just a little bit of that there. All right. Some breadcrumbs. <sighs> Just a little bit. You're going to layer this a little is what you're going to do. See, just a uh, few little breadcrumbs, uh, perhaps a little paprika. Little paprika. I'm making this up now. That's okay. Don't get worried. It's all cooked. It doesn't matter. Then you take the rest of this and you layer it on top of that. We could have used a little bit more of the uh, of this mix, I think, but that's okay. This is not bad for starch. Let me just scrape some of this out of here. How's this meringue doing? This oh. is really quite lovely. Quite, quite beautiful. Well, oh, hold on a recipes. second. I'll do the recipe oh. when I'm finished doing the recipe. <laughs> oh, he's so this is the Well, but this is the last of it, guys. I only got a, another minute here. Now, yeah, put that on there and put a little paprika and breadcrumbs on there, and let's go to the recipes. Here they are. Chocolate pie, one box Pushing of chocolate pudding mix, not instant, three egg yolks, three tablespoons of cocoa, two cups of oat milk, two tablespoons of melted margarine, three quarters of a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a pre-baked pie shell. And the cabbage au gratin, a tablespoon of margarine, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, an eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper, a cup of skim milk, quarter of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, an eighth of a teaspoon of dry mustard vegetable cooking spray, four cups coarsely shredded green cabbage, half a cup minced onion, quarter of a cup diced green bell pepper, two cups peeled seeded chopped tomatoes, remember every year about this time, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of fine dry bread crumbs, a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. Ah! All right, here it is. You put a little bit of that on top of it, a little bit of paprika on top of that, put it in the oven 350 degrees for about 25 minutes and bake it and voila! Look at that. Now, is that pretty or what? Uh huh. It's lovely. It really is. It oh, is no, here gorgeous, she comes. Gorgeous. Miss Witch has got to get high, babe. Hmm. The witch is here for her 10th uh, well, anniversary swing through. All right, she says, Dear Frickin' Frack, we is keep hearing you guys talk about Doris and Harold. Where do these clowns live? We've seen your houses now, let's see theirs. What kind is it? And don't try to tell us it's a log cabin out in the woods. We know many people in the South now have uh, houses. Uh -huh. And it's from Bob and Mary Felzer of Back Alley, Maine. It is a log cabin in the woods, believe and it or not. And we'll go see it next week. Let's get over here and sit down and try some of this stuff. Get over here and sit down and shut up. Ooh, look at this lovely, gorgeous oh, cake. Oh, look at this 10th anniversary cake. Uh, mm. It is beautiful. Who provided this? Doris. Oh, Doris. Whoa. Isn't that beautiful? Did you mm -hmm. make that, Doris? Oh, that is so pretty. What kind is it? What's inside of it? Just a yellow cake, she says. It's just a yellow There's cake. There's a slice of pie for Ooh, Well, you know, you're right. That does look like a fine, rich pie. Ooh, Laban, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I can't eat that fast. Mmm, mmm. Just like Grandma used to make. Well, the cabbage is real swell. It is. It's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm not kidding you. This is a fine, old-fashioned tasting chocolate thing. Let me mm. try the cabbage. Mmm. The old gratin. 
That cake is just too pretty to eat. Oh, we gotta go. We'll see you at Doris and Harold's next Cabbage week. Cabbage is good too, bye.